Welcome. Hi, my name is Kelly Kingston and I'm from the Wellness Business Academy. Um, first off, I would absolutely love to thank um, Sarah Watkins from the Spiritual Events and Directory for um, asking me to speak on her page in her business and um, for having the, um, the opportunity to share um, my life's journey in business and um, how to actually create a business that is sustainable that is true and authentic to who you are from a heart aspected place. So I started my journey um, in business about 20 years ago and didn't know anything in business. Hey Tracy. Um, and you know I got very creative. I'm a, I'm a creative profile and I really 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 wanted to shine. I really wanted to bring in um, who I was but didn't really know what that was at that particular point in time. So what I had to do was um, eliminate the next shiny thing. So I really wanted to embrace um, who I was and where I was in business, but I really loved doing, oh, I love doing this in my business and then I love being here in business and I love being over there in business but wasn't consistent in doing one thing well. So one of the biggest lessons that I've learned in business to date is to trust my instincts within myself and to believe in myself because if I can't trust my instincts from where I am and that's that gut intense feeling in the pit of your stomach, okay, that is telling you whether it's a good thing or not a good thing and whether to go forward or whether not to go forward. So if you can't trust yourself and be authentic with your true self, you cannot deliver 100% of yourself for you and your business. Now, some people say to me, I'm just going to get comfy. Some people say to me, um, how do you do that, Kelly? Okay, so because for years um, I wanted to be true and authentic, but I didn't know how to deliver that message. I didn't know the words to use. I didn't know how to um, present it to myself but so that I could really, really understand where I wanted to be and how I wanted to do it. So... Um, I stumbled a lot, I struggled a lot. But what I have learned is that we need to really write things down. So I am going to be talking on spiritual events and directory um, each week on a Tuesday evening at 8.30. And one thing I am going to ask if you want to follow uh, different areas of you know how to be a true successful entrepreneurial, solopreneurial, mumpreneurial um, woman in business is that you need to start to write things down. I thought that I could remember everything, absolutely everything, but I can't. I can't remember everything. And so I never wrote anything down and, and used to forget about things and, and all, all sorts of different things. So now... I always have a pen and a piece of paper, a diary or something beside my bed, wherever I am, in my car. I have uh, everywhere. I've got pads. I've got notepads. I've got small pads and pens. So whenever we feel like we have a great idea, we write it down, okay, because what we're doing is we're, we're writing and releasing, writing and releasing. We're getting rid of what is being scrambled up in our brain going, oh, my gosh, you know, that's a really cool idea. Is it going to work for me or is it not going to work for me? Can I actually do this or can I not do this? Do I have the skills and the ability to do this? Well, absolutely you do. Why wouldn't you? And that's where the trusting yourself and believing in yourself comes into um, where you need to be in your business. So I've got a few women on and maybe one or two men. Here's a question for you all. 
um, what is that one thing that is stopping you from being your true authentic self within your business? Okay, is it believing in yourself? Is it not having the right education about business? Is it uh, technology? Um, what is it? What is it for you that is stopping you from being your true authentic self in your business and stepping into your power? Okay, so is there anyone out there that's willing to share? Like for me, it was, I was writing my book. I started writing my book about two years ago. Um, and I knew I wanted to write a book. I just didn't know how to go about it. So when we are in a space that uh, it's true to who we are, we aren't necessarily in a place of, I don't know how to roll that out. How do I roll that out? So I then procrastinated for quite a while until I found the right person which I think I procrastinated for about three months, three to six months. So my struggle was I knew what I wanted to do. I just didn't know how to get there, to, to, to get to that space of who do I contact next to write my book? How do I get the content? What's the layout? What does that look like? So who has struggled in business and what is that struggle to them right now? And if you're not in business, do you want to be in business? And what is stopping you from embracing in business today? Hey, Lorraine. Hey, Maz. Lorraine, I know you have a business. How, how's, that, how's that working for you? What's that looking like? Uh, so what did Lorraine say? Speak it into your recorder on your phone. Okay, no technical admin, money. Alison says money. So Alison, money is stopping you from being your true authentic self in business. Is that right? Because we have so many different resources um, in our lives these days that can help support um, without having money to actually start it up. There's um, free planning sessions. Um, you just need to Google them and you can Google all of them, okay, how to start a business um, and, and then just get the bare necessities done, okay. Um, speak to uh, people like myself on open chat lines like we are right this very second. Um, hey, Adrian, uh, speak to Adrian. Adrian's an expert in, in supporting people when getting started, um, personal development, business, um, and then takes them on uh, in empowerment retreats. There's so many different people that can support you in so many different areas of your life um, for you and in your business. And money is not a deal breaker. It's so not a deal breaker. Um, I'm just going to quickly share an experience um, just to let you know that uh, I think it was about 10 years ago, I was a single mom, I had three children and I was just living off a pension and I didn't, I, I know I wanted to be in business and I know that I loved supporting people in a holistic space. I was a practitioner, um, I did uh, massage therapy and supported people through aromatherapy, through massage. So I loved doing what I did and I, and I did it and I didn't hardly charge enough for it, devalued myself so much looking back at it now, but I was still doing what I loved. I did not allow money to stop me, okay? You cannot allow money to stop you when you are, are, are coming through and going through in business. If you let money stop you, you will get absolutely nowhere. It's just an excuse. And I'm, and I'm saying that with the most kind heart I could possibly ever say it. 
we in this technology world when you have a laptop and a phone and a phone um, we have it with us 24 7. we can find and use resources to be able to create a platform of whatever we want for us in business now if you need support and assistance these chats that i'm doing on spiritual events and directory are here to support you and i am here to answer any questions that you have about starting up a business creating your own business if you're in business for 12 months to two years and you're um, stuck or you you're procrastinating about what you can do to grow your business pop me a line put in a chat if you don't want to put it in the chat pm me and i am more than happy to have a, a a session with you to support you in creating that heart aspected business that you have longed for and dreamed for just before you close your eyes and you put your head on your pillow it's the last thing you think of and the first thing you think of when you wake up maybe for some maybe not for me my gosh it was the first thing first thing I, I woke up thinking about it how am I going to get there what am I going to do how am I going to get how am I going to get to that goal um, and I just persisted and persisted and I was consistent in being persistent and you just need to know that if it feels good and you're only taking a 1% step each day one step in achieving that goal you will get there don't break don't don't let anything break you especially money okay because if you're going to be just focusing um, it all about money to start off with um, and you have got no money then you won't get there it'll just it, it will just diminish and it will just not be uh, anything it can't be anything um, but if you do have the money then you have more resources and you can get there a lot faster but um, just because you're getting there a lot faster doesn't necessarily mean it will probably be the right way because um, about seven years ago I did have money and then I did start a business and it wasn't necessarily the right business because I didn't follow my intuition and I didn't believe in myself uh, in this particular business and it didn't last very long. Um, so hence why I can share different experiences with you around where we currently are and where we're not currently at and um, how that looks for us. So um, and another thing is being um, congruent, okay? So it's being speaking your truth, walking your walk, talking your talk. If you haven't if 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 people can't see that you're being consistent in your day-to-day -day life and that you're walking your walk and talking your talk how are they going to believe you in business you need to be so authentic with where you currently stand and be confident really really confident and know this is where i want to be that's what I want to do because as soon as you believe it and you feel it it's a no-brainer for anybody else everyone else will just come and, and 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 you watch it because it does and it just happens and call it the you know your higher self and your higher calling call it the universe is answering your prayers or whatever the case may be but if if you're true to every single word that you're doing and saying, uh, it, it is a no-brainer. So um, the next thing, so when you're in business, and whether, it's, it, whether you've been in business for 10 years, 10 months, one week, one month, we have to plan our business. We have to plan what we are doing in our business and that's having a diary, um, using the calendar on our phones, 
getting organized, knowing where we're going, what we're doing, who we're doing it with, who we have to call, what meetings we have to attend and not being late. Okay, because if we're going to prove to being late, then we're then showing um, no respect to the person that has been waiting for us in that meeting. Okay, so we have to show up just before or on time for all meetings in business because it just shows that that person that you're going to be doing business with and, and whether it's a client, um, a person that you're going to do a joint venture with or whatever the case may be, they will see just by you being eager and early and showing up that you, you mean business. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, cool. Um, so planning and being and, and, and dressing presentable. Now, I don't wear suits, okay? I have been in corporate before. I've worn suits. It's, it's not my style anymore. And now that I am a business owner, I still am extremely presentable, but I choose my style. Okay, and everybody in business will choose their style depending on where they're at, what they're doing and how they're doing it. So as a practitioner or as a, um, a spiritual worker or wellness business owner, we have the ability to be very creative with what we want to wear and who we want to attract because that ideal client that you're wanting to attract, your avatar, is nine times out of ten who you were when you were going through training, when you were going through doing what you wanted to do. So it's a past version of yourself. Okay, not always because as women we attract men into our lives to be our ideal client, but they then have this feminine frequency that resonates with you, that they resonate with you in some way, shape or form. Okay, so planning is essential. Personal development for personal growth so people can see that you're confident, you're, 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 you've got your heart in the game. You are playing full out and you want to show up because you want other people to show up so that they can then see your value. Does that make sense? Because if other people can see your value, then they're going to pay. And it doesn't matter. It could be $20, $200 an hour. But once you see that other people see your true value and then they will pay, okay, and you may be paying $100 an hour maybe for a consult, maybe depending on where you are in your business, whether you're a card reader, whether you are in essential oils and doing consulting um, to help people use essential oils in a day-to-day -day basis, um, a, a, a healer of any description, whether it's massage therapy, Reiki, um, any of those hands-on practitioner therapy um, healing positions. If, if you stand out, and just not just be a massage therapy and then add a modality like essential oils. A lot of healers, therapists, practitioners are using additional extras to support in this healing journey. And I do believe that, you know, I've been to so many massage therapists and Reiki practitioners and um, naturopaths you find the person that resonates with you. Like there are so many, like how many Woolies is there? How many IGAs are there out there? How many grocery food stores are out there? There's tons. They, those, and, and they're massive high corporate. They then, okay, aren't sitting back going, well, they're doing what I'm doing. I, I just can't, I just can't compete with that. If they're doing what I'm doing and, and I'm, I just, you know, I just think I'm just not even going to value myself in the market and I'll just do it for however I um, ask my client how much, how much can you afford. You don't see them doing that, do you? 
Okay, not that we want to be high corporate, but we want to value ourselves into our market. And if we take on that, that mentality of, oh, she's doing what I'm doing. Oh, no, he's doing what I'm doing, you know, and, you know, they're not going to come to me because, you know, their prices are lower or higher or whatever the case may be. We need to make our brand. We need to make ourselves confident enough. We need to value ourselves into the market so that we are seen as the expert in our field. And if you have that passion, if you have that drive, you can make that happen. And it doesn't matter because 20 years ago, I dropped out, like I was a dropout out of school. I didn't know business. I didn't read my first book until I was 20, 32. 32, I read my first book cover to cover, okay? And ever since then, I've just been educating myself more and more and more and more and more and more, becoming more confident, more confident, more confident in what does that look like? How can I make myself better right now so that I can then add more value to the people that I want to be in front of? My tribe, I want to connect in. I want to be the best version of myself. You cannot do that without planning. Planning and then researching. My two takeaway tips that anybody that watches this move, this video, if you plan and it's all about writing and releasing, you have to write everything down because as we're writing, we're releasing, we're allowing more energy, more information, more education to come through so that we can then take, climb that staircase, raise our frequency, raise our vibration to that next level. Once we raise our vibration, once we have our true authentic self and we're congruent in our space, we then can take the next step and then plan our business. We cannot plan our business while we are not being true and authentic to ourselves. Not going to happen. Can't happen. We're stepping into an energetic, uh, an energetic field that is raising its consciousness. And if we don't raise our consciousness at the same time and then plan our business, our business is just not going to work. It, 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 it can't work. It's just the law of energies in stipulating, putting the, the, the cut before the horse, okay? We're putting the business before ourselves. It doesn't work like that. We have to put our, our own oxygen mask on first, okay? It's the old scenario. We come first and then everything else will follow. Happy, happy wife, happy life. Happy mummy, happy, happy anything. As long as we are happy within ourselves, everything else can slowly fall into place. And then this is where we come into creating a business. We're creating a business plan. Okay. A lot of people say that they don't want to create a business plan because they don't know how or it just is too much for them or it, it, their head starts to hurt and they, they start to explode. And I understand it because I was there. But what I have done and what I've created was something that is so beautifully heart-based and centred that works for the individual to co-create a business plan, a three-year to five-year business plan that supports your purpose and passion. Okay, my book that I have created is called The Ultimate Business Guide for the uh, wellness business owner. What frequency is your business vibrating at? Now, when I created the book, it was like I needed to have a um, very, very highly spiritual, very free spirited woman. And my energies were whoa off the chart. I just was, you know, um, meditating and doing my yoga and, and everything. And my business knowledge was down here. 
I didn't know anything about business, nothing, nothing, nothing. So then what I did is I created the spiritual business um, book, which is called The Ultimate Business Guide for Wellness Business Owners, and created the chakra system that aligned with business planning. So we start at the base, uh, the Earth Star Chakra, and then we work all the way up through the chakra systems, guided by the business principles, but defined with spirituality definitions through the chakra space, okay? Meanwhile, you, I, I created 13 mantras that supported the, the raising of the frequencies through the body, through each chapter, so you can get out of your head and into your heart. So we are co-creating our business from a heart-aspected place and not a mental brain-aspected place. And people go, you need your brain to actually operate. We get this, okay? When you actually drop out of your head and into your heart and you actually start to feel how you actually want your business to be done. It is amazing about the results. Okay, just want to quickly show you something. Um, no, I haven't got it down here. If you go and visit the front page of my website, I'll pop the, um, the link in here. You'll see that uh, the sharper pictures of the definitions of how we actually raise the frequency of our business in saying that because we are spiritual beings experiencing a, um, a human experience in here on earth we have to bring our own physical energies down when we are creating our business because we're creating it from scratch and we need to have the same frequency so that when we raise the frequency of ourselves we raise the frequency of our business through the business planning book, which is the ultimate business guide for wellness business owners. Now, when we raise the frequency of our business, we're aligning ourselves with our business and, we're, and, and when we actually get to the divine gateway chakra, which is the operations, you have fully completed a business plan that lights you up instead of starves you of cash and time that you have put into your business knowing, not knowing what to do next. After we finish this process, we then go in and do an action steps, okay? So we do the business planning, which is the uh, three year to five year business planning. And then once we finish that, what is the next step? Okay, you could be given a business plan. Here you go, there's your business plan. But what do we do with it? So then we actually do the step-by-step -step action plans. What are we doing daily? What are we doing weekly? What are we doing monthly? And then you then have that plan. You can tick it off and you know exactly where you're going, what you're doing and how you're doing it. Connecting with people, connecting with like-minded people. So. If you need to be supported with an idea, um, you're currently in business and you're a little bit stuck and you just need to, you know, get your vision clear, get your values. What are your products? Are you pricing yourself into the market? What are your objectives? What is your vision? What are you, what, you know, where are you in your business and how can we support you? So reach out. There is no wrong answer. There is no dumb question. Just have the courage to get out of your comfort zone and take that next step. Money is not an obstacle. And that's what I'm going to leave you with today. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much, Sarah Watkins and Spiritual Events and Directory and everybody that was watching here today. Have a lovely evening and I will see you all next Tuesday evening at 8.32, 9 o'clock. Take care for now. Bye.